Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimzeski with Adam Atkinson. We're in episode two of our series on fat loss basics. We're gonna move into carbohydrates, where it gets a little fun because there's some controversy. We can, we can hammer it out with some of the haters on uh, fat or carb, that whichever position you wanna take. But carbohydrates are the body's preferred source of energy. You're gonna break down those carbohydrates in any form into glucose, which is blood sugar, and that's gonna fuel your body. That's what you're, that the cells need. That's what replenishes glycogen for muscle tissue energy. And therefore, if you look at all of the data, all of the research, and this is what we're not gonna get into because we wanna keep it simple, but carbs are important. They're just, they just are. You can, you can choose to completely drop them out and go keto. You're going to lose muscle. You're going to, you're going to feel horrible. It, it, you're going to lose a lot of metabolic capacity. But if you just keep in mind that we do have to manage carbs by bringing them down to a certain level, but we still need enough to train, to keep uh, hunger at bay. How best do you explain this, Adam, when you're describing to a client? You know, here's where I think your carbohydrates should be. What's the rationale you give them? Yeah, well, a lot of it is dependent on where the protein and fats are, actually, because that's going to equate to their calories. But um, there's a lot of factors, and this is probably going to be one of our longer ones in the series. Um, digestion's huge. Um, source is huge. Um, hunger satiety is huge. Um, you know, I might want somebody to a certain level of carbohydrates and they just clearly might not be able to hit that. So we need to adjust and, and we can sometimes win by upping protein or upping fats because uh, in the end game, this is all going to come back to calories. Uh, but it, it's really important to understand that carbs are metabolic and you need carbs to keep your metabolism as upregulated as possible. So the moment we crash those, you know, maybe down to trace or zero carbs, there's going to be some pretty severe metabolic shutdown, um, definitely some, uh, you know, lowering of thyroid levels, um, things that are actually going to help you lose body fat faster. So um, also you back yourself into a corner where if you have weeks left of dieting to do and you're zero to very, very low carb, what else are you going to take away to make more progress? Now, you can always lean on cardio and things of that nature. You could maybe shift protein, but in an overall calorie standpoint, my goal is to keep carbs as high as possible as long as possible until progress slows. And then we need to move that down, maybe with fats and protein accordingly. Right. And there's kind of a new punching bag in the industry right now. A lot of people who are pro-carb are pointing to uh, Dr. Hall, Kevin Hall, who's a researcher for the NIH. And, and, and he's been kind of combating this thing called the insulin theory or the insulin model. And, and what that means, if you look at old textbooks and so forth, everybody talked about, oh, insulin is so bad. Insulin is so evil. As soon as you eat carbohydrates, insulin goes up. And that's true. Insulin goes up. And insulin's job is to shuttle energy into the body where it can be used. It could be storing liver glycogen, muscle glycogen, converting things to body fat. But that in itself is still a continuum. Yes, this, the, it's, it's going to start that process. Doesn't mean that you're automatically just gaining net body fat between meals. If your calories, where we started this whole series, is or, or are where they should be, then you get to decide where those calories are going to come from. You're still in a calorie deficit. That's a given if you're losing body fat. So, you know, I would almost say it like this and instead of just saying, I want carbs to be as high as they can be. I want them to be at a place where you're losing the most body fat you can so that you have the greatest effect from your diet and your calorie deficit, but you still have some preference points. Like you said, Adam, we can, we may do a little bit better with higher protein. We may feel a little better with a little more fat and carbs come down, but you got to find that sweet spot where you are staying anabolic and as metabolically charged as you can. You even mentioned hunger and satiety. I mean, those things are incredibly important for the long-term process. So um, I, I like your answer, and I think that all of these things have to be factored in, and most people, especially a beginning dieter, just is, looks for the right or the wrong. They wanna know the one thing to do, follow the recipe, the protocol, 
and it's over. And it's just not quite that simple. Yeah, a lot of info out there is to turn somebody to a high carb crowd um, or a low carb crowd. And uh, really, it depends. Mm -hmm. And you do, I mean, you're, you're, we fight for those things almost in a political sense. Like, if this is what I believe, I'm going to defend it. I'm going to cherry pick research and force it into my perspective. And then I'm going to try and proselytize. I'm going to try and win people to my side. I'm going to have these arguments on social media. It is just pretty dumb. It's pretty fruitless. I mean, you need to find what works for you. All of these principles and physiological laws are there for you to understand and use in how they will benefit you the most. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's even arguments about how you manage carbs, whether you cycle or not. And again, you might do different things with different clients. It doesn't mean that you're doing something special for one versus another. You're just using the right application that you think for that client at that time. Well, you can't talk about carbs without fat. So stay tuned, guys. In episode three, we're going to turn the conversation toward fat intake, and carbs will, of course, reemerge in that conversation. So we'll see you then.